Right, so today's challenge, I have decided to post commentate, and this is my second attempt to do so, because of um, because I'm such a noob at recording anything, I can barely keep a diary without failing. Like like I run out of paper or I forget all words. And the challenge is indeed to try to beat the level without ever using any weapons that are not green. It's uh, slow and kind of gingerly initially because I don't you don't spawn with green weapons so you actually have to just rely on your luck to find one somewhere attracting the least attention that you can. This is actually my second attempt, but the first attempt was pretty similar thus far, as in I just don't have any green weapons to use. This is not the open tier yet, so I do still have a, a chance And here we have what seems to be a a choice weapon and perhaps the weapon of choice because of its uh, massive ammo efficiency. And availability from the start. And so we can finally start killing shit. I'm post commentating this because it was. I figured it would be difficult enough to try and focus on the gameplay. And I feel this way I'm doing a better job of both. And finding the map is always very nice, although, as it turns out, and I didn't really know this back when I was uh, recording this, that um, this weapon, just by, the, by itself, is going to be sufficient. I thought maybe I'd find something more powerful. Further up. You have the potential of getting two power-ups in this level if you defeat the robo boss and uh, pick up the other three loose hypercells now starting to think about the open tier making sure I haven't missed anything and somebody sees me who I want to take out ASAP. I should have maybe been um, even more aggressive there and just uh, fired a long hard volley at the guy. Robo Aza is somewhere um, but more than likely he's just taken some damage from the acid dripping so that doesn't mean that he spotted me funny name that robo Uzza makes me think of Uzi's Uzza like no Uzza Always got to be sure what it is that you're hearing.
that guy spotted me through a layer of well he's directly above the gray thing above here this gray slab so it would have been difficult to fight him from that angle and so we just moved to a different angle but I think there might have been another enemy up there now oh that's right one spawns in those guys are something that you kind of just have to play with like the play with the possibility of them spawning about anywhere takes two shots to kill one of those guys but there's other variants that take uh, four Not feeling pressured, so time to set up the shot. And something funny happens here that I didn't know was possible, but if you look at what happens next... Oh, wait, I think I killed the first guy and then another one dropped in from somewhere? I have no idea. It looked like maybe they teleported. Can they teleport? Don't ask me. I don't think I've ever seen that. I think I would have seen it. It must... It, uh, I can't not have seen it if it is a thing they do on the regular. The rumbling sound was this guy spawning in, I guess. Or the rumbling effect. guy came out of nowhere. Too low on health, so better drop back down. Or just keep going as you prefer. Actually, yeah, that's right. I've already used all the health items down there, I guess. I don't see any arrows pointing downwards. That's one of the four shot types. Unfor and that's Robo. No, that's actually a Nephilim. Just one of those angel types. I might have thought back then that that was Uzzah. Actually, it doesn't matter if it's Uzza or not, it's still dangerous. I seem to think there's more health down here, but I don't see any indicators. I'll, uh, yeah, although there could be crates, of course.
That guy could have dropped me something. Oh, wait, I don't have the health map. Well, never mind all that then. And this guy, I don't understand how it can have taken so much punishment. The wall behind it got destroyed before it did. Well, I, why am I seeing... Oh, there's a red weapon, so I'm an idiot. Having re recovered a little bit of health, we return to the... Uh, I guess you could call this floor two and a half. I don't think you can actually pick up weapons from below the chest and I'm not able to jump quite high enough even if I jump off here. Can't do this though. This, this. Well done. And there's your first aid map. And then this happens, and in the blink of an eye, you think you were on to something. And you think you were on to something good. Well, you were not. And that's Uzza shooting at something. That's Uzza blasting through a wall. That's Uzza almost taking me out. And just a lot of sight lines. I should have maybe dropped back down. I try not to lose all the progress that I'd made. A little bit frustrated with that. Looking promising, finding the weapons map and a green weapon all down at the bottom tier but the problem is down here down the slow that weapon can be this one the slicer is going to convert one unit of green ammo into one kill at most, at best. So it's not going to be nearly good enough. And honestly we could almost just skip watching the rest of this because it's so hopeless trying to fight with this thing. It's super underpowered for level 4. Although I feel like Maybe it's a weapon you're not supposed to aim directly at the enemies because that causes it to... Uh, I think that causes the, uh, the projectile to vanish. Whereas if you let it... If you shoot to the side of them, um, it continues to travel down and has the chance, at least, to take out something else as well. But obviously that relies on having enemies lined up. And secondly, it's more destructive to the environment that way. to the level architecture. It won't help you against single targets at all. It's still shit against those. To the uh, to the point that I realize that I can't really afford to take any fights that I don't really need to. 
beating level with this weapon would be a pretty significant challenge. Just well and above. Far beyond what the green weapon challenge is. I had the right idea here, I guess. In creating that hole, allowing me to start shooting at the guys above, maybe kick them off or something. But then first of all, this guy interrupts me. I need to shoot him three times. And when I get to this point, there happens to be a wall there that I couldn't see that stops him from falling. Also, I don't really know how far he would have uh, flown anyway. It probably wouldn't have been enough anyway. Difficult to climb any higher with these guys holding court. And that's an interesting little observation, that if you jump, they immediately hear the jump sound. So that makes a little bit of noise. I haven't really done any particularly thorough testing of that stuff. Just a, a casual observation here and there. Floor had disappeared. That little ledge had disappeared. Difficult to see from underneath the weapon model. And I'm already almost out of ammo. And the situation is so bad that I should, uh, I should honestly have given up about now. But you never want to do that. It's, um, when it's not even a guarantee that you'll ever see a green weapon to begin with. I don't really know what kind of advice I could be giving myself right now. So I think the rest of this is a, a desperate attempt to cobble anything together and it's just not going to work out, so let's skip to the next attempt. Now um, when I spawn in you might find something kind of funny is happening here. I don't, I didn't notice it at all at this time. But um, let's look at that one more time. Can you tell what it is? I've just spawned in. This is a fresh start. And I'm on half health. And I think I know where that is. Because if you look further back, this is the end of the previous attempt. And if I do this, The game forgets to reset your health when you come from the tutorial mission. Which is um, sort of whatever as far as bugs go. But it's still a little bit surprising to see, I guess. So uh, <laughs> let's see how this attempt goes. <laughs> Two weapon chests straight off. But no luck this time with finding green weapons. Something of an art to try to disarm these guys before they hit you. Now I'm at death's door.
obviously an Efreet spawns in. And it's not looking good, once again. There are health kits, but they're just pretty difficult to find another. <laughs> yeah, a little bit frustrating. Now they're starting to cut the level open, and I just I just take the L, don't I? Pretty hard. Again, I've taken early damage. I think that was just the asset, though. I think this this was the last attempt of the session. And this one was actually kind of fun. Made it a little bit further. I find the weapons map and where's all the green weapons? They're not here, that's for sure. In fact, if you look closely at the indicators on the top of the screen, you can see that, uh, yeah, that's right, there's exactly one green weapon in this entire level. And I'm trying to move left and right to tr to uh, kind of triangulate how far above me it might be. And uh, it's, um, again, not looking very bright, seeing as it's it's beyond the first open tier. So I, I have no choice but to try to get through the, uh, you know, the massive horde that's waiting for me without even trying to challenge them in any way. Only thing I can benefit from finding right now is the ammo that I'm missing. Funny thing is, in this challenge, I actually had no reason not to pop the chest right there, even though I'm only missing, well, because specifically, the only thing I need is the green ammo, so either I get the green ammo, and I get what I need, or there will never be a better chance of getting um, what I need, unless I'm also missing health, and if it's an iron crate, which can spawn health. This guy's in dogged pursuit. I just decide to uh, take the money and run. And a troll door. <laughs> yeah. Godspeed me. But somehow I managed to find this godsend ladder. Look at this ladder. Look at this ladder for a couple of seconds and tell me. I, I am in utter disbelief at what I just saw. <laughs> but obviously I climbed as high as I could, as fast as I could. And I'm now far above where that one weapon is. I'm looking at that uh, health dispenser down below. Doesn't feel safe. I'm trying to see if that guy maybe went away. I'm not sure. This looks like a trap room, but I do. Ah, uh, yeah, it is a trap room. At this point, I decide that I never explicitly banned kicking in the other challenge that I did, the red challenge. So I'm, I'm just going to go for some kicks. I don't know if it's uh, if it goes against the spirit of the challenge. I should know. No one else can know. But um, uh, I feel like kicking is really on an axis of its own. 
sort of like using. So there's obviously a ton of guys down there that I never fought. Now I'm just looking for platforms below that I can safely or semi-safely land on and I spy something. Uh, I spy this thing, first of all. And then I almost get spotted by this guy. I have no idea if they... Uh, I don't think they ever look up and down, and I don't know how close I would have had to been for him to have seen me there. But um, I figure that my best option here might be to try this little platform to at least get vaguely on the same level with that chest. can't drop down any further. I have no idea how strong these components are, but I think they're probably about as strong as the walls are. I'm trying to peer through to see if there's enemies in there or something else. Pretty difficult to see. Then I spot this ventilation um, fan thing. Doesn't look very effective as a fan, to be honest. But um, that's what it probably is. And then I finally spot the chest itself, but obviously there's also a Nephilim guarding it. Now, in hindsight, even though I'm at half health, I might have survived a, a direct dive down to the chest, snatch the prize and uh, get the hell out of dodge, but this time This time I peek, and now I'm left with no choice. It is a good weapon, but then I get blocked by that flying enemy. And to add insult to injury, it's not even one of those flying enemies. And then finally, I think I thought maybe I'd fall into safety, but then that barrel also falls down with me, and uh, an enemy somehow ends up falling down as well. And I thought maybe I was, I thought I was far enough from the barrel to be able to blow it up. But I obviously wasn't, so it would have been fun to find out how the rest of that attempt would have went. And I think I could have maybe uh, taken it all the way from there. Mm, but you know, you're not, you're never quite fully prepared for uh, those kinds of situations. I think in hindsight I should probably just have fallen down immediately to where I knew it would be safe, and then worked my way up little by little. It's not very intuitive. And it feels like a bit, a bit of a bitch tactic, but what you're gonna do? It's hyper tower. So anyway, I'll see you in the next video.